The Evolution of Monarchy and the Varna System The evolution of monarchy and the Varna system are two distinct aspects of ancient and medieval Indian society. Let's examine each of them in detail. Evolution of Monarchy in India Early Vedic Period During the Early Vedic Period 1500 BCE 600 BCE, the political system was tribal in nature. Small kingdoms or Janapadas emerged, each led by a king Ra, who held both political and religious authority. These early monarchies were often based on kinship ties. Later Vedic Period The later Vedic period 600 BCE-200 BCE, witnessed the emergence of large territorial kingdoms known as Mahajanapadas. These kingdoms were governed by powerful monarchs who exercised greater control over their subjects. The concept of Chakravartin, or universal monarch also emerged during this period, symbolizing a king's dominion over a vast territory. Mauryan Empire The Mauryan Empire 322 BCE-185 BCE, marked a significant milestone in the evolution of monarchy in India. Chandragupta Maurya, with the guidance of Chanakya, established a centralized imperial rule. The Mauryan kings, such as Ashoka the Great, ruled over a vast empire with a well-organized bureaucracy. Guptu Empire The Guptu Empire 320-550 G, witnessed the rise of another powerful dynasty. The Gupta kings exercise both political and religious authority, promoting Hinduism and patronizing scholars and artists. This period is often referred to as the Golden Age of India, characterized by advancements in science, art, and literature. Medieval period. With the advent of Islam in the Indian subcontinent, the political landscape underwent significant changes. Various dynasties such as the Delhi Sultanate 1206 G 1526 G and the Mughal Empire 1526 G 1857 G established a different form of monarchy, integrating Islamic traditions with local governance systems. It is important to note that the monarchy in India varied across regions and time periods. The above points provide a general overview of its evolution. Varna system in India the Varna system, also known as the caste system, is a hierarchical social structure that developed in ancient India. Here is a comprehensive explanation of its evolution. Vedic period. The Varna system finds its earliest mentions in the Rigveda, an ancient Hindu scripture. Initially, the society was divided into two broad groups, the priestly class Brahmins, and the warrior class Kshatriyas. The Varnas were believed to be created from different parts of the cosmic being, with each having specific duties and responsibilities. Expansion of Varnas Over time, two additional Varnas were incorporated into the system. The Vaishyas, comprising merchants, farmers, and artisans, were considered the third Varna. The Shudras, who performed manual labor, were placed as the fourth Varna. The Varnas were primarily determined by birth, and social mobility between them was limited. SMRIDIS and Dharmashastras The SMRIDIS and Dharmashastras ancient texts on law and morality, emerged as sources of guidance for society. These texts, including Manya Smriti, provided detailed regulations on the Varna system, prescribing the duties and privileges of each Varna. Jati and Subcasts As society became more complex, numerous Jtis subcasts emerged within each Varna. Jtis were based on occupation, regional identities, and social customs. Jtis often had their own rules and regulations, and social interactions were often governed by Jati-based norms. Challenging the Varna system Throughout history, various reform movements and social reformers emerged to challenge the rigidity and discrimination associated with the Varna system. Prominent reformers like Ra Ram Mohan Roy, Jayo Tiraful, and B.R. Ambedkar played significant roles in advocating for social equality and the abolition of caste-based discrimination. It is important to note that the Varna system is a complex and multifaceted social structure that has evolved over thousands of years. While its influence has diminished in modern times, remnants of the system still persist in certain aspects of Indian society. Efforts toward social equality and the upliftment of marginalized communities continue to shape contemporary India. Thank you.